The Brazilian bombshells and brainy Belgian beauties, Minnie Anden has claimed her place on the catwalk with her natural Nordic good looks. I'm from Sweden and I kind of got into it getting discovered on the street, started working a little bit in Sweden, um, spend my summers going to Paris or going to New York and taking some time off from school, doing dry bookings and, and uh, then I moved to Paris when I was 19, stayed there for a year and then I've been in New York now for two years. It would seem that making the move across the pond has agreed with Minnie and her career as she continues to land plum assignments. But her run to the top has given her perspective on what it takes to be successful. I remember starting out when I used to go to New York or Paris in the summertime, you had to run on 10, 11 meetings a day. You had to go on the you know, subway, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But it pays off you know, if you go on doing it. Or you can get it from, with having nothing, just being a new girl, and boom, someone discovers you and put you in the Gucci campaign or whatever. You know? It's all about, it's different for everybody. As much as she's enjoying life in the limelight, Minnie has no illusions about the fickle attentions of the fashion industry and has some pretty clear ideas about the future and her affections for man's furry best friend. What I would definitely do, depending on the money situation, is I want to um, open a dog shelter. Dogs are my passion, so <laughs> that's one of the things I want to do. I mean, I love doing it, but it's not something that you would you know, want to do for the rest of your life. It's really stressful. It's a lot of traveling and and I, you know, would like to have children within a couple of years and I have my dogs and I have my man and I'd like to settle down. 